guys, this is A. Renee from Journal Jots and Jive. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so every time I post, you are in the know. All right, today is Wednesday. It is February 13th, and today I had a interesting start. I overslept, had to drop my kid off to school, actually started this video and had to stop it because I was like, yeah, this ain't working. So we are going to do a daily spread. Today is technically my no social media day. So what that means and what that's going to look like for you all is you will see this video. But if you comment, and I hope you do because I love responding back to comments, I won't be able to see that comment until tomorrow. So this video is just get us through here. After we finish this, I will be done. The funny thing, y'all, I started this and I was like, okay, do I want to do a talk through video? Y'all know speeding up videos I like doing because I feel like it just works for me so I was like well no I'm gonna try to do a talk through video y'all I was rambling and so I'm, I'm still deciding if I'm gonna finish talking through this video possibly but I don't know because it was just a little team too much going on so I can tell you so far that um yeah we woke up late and so I typically drop my son off. He rides to school with one of his friends. We meet up and he switches into the car. And so his alarm didn't go off or it probably did go off. My alarm probably went off twice. And somehow we missed the whole memo of you need to get ready for school. So the phone rang and I'm all disoriented. Y'all, I woke up like somebody stole something. It was just too much. So, yeah. Today has been interesting to say the least. So on today's spread, we are using stickers. You know, I've been showing you the no sticker spreads lately, but today we're going to do the sticker spreads. So we do have a couple of things coming up. I am going to try to talk to, through this video. Hopefully it works on take two because take one, yeah, that wasn't it. So what I'm doing is I'm using quite a few icons today, so I don't necessarily have to write as much as I normally would. So we'll see how that works. Now the insert that I'm using is a, that was so backwards. The insert that I'm using right now is from Anthology Notes. Her store can be found on, in, not Instagram, it can be found on Etsy. And this is going to, I think it's like called the hexagon layout. So that's this layout. So I wanted to show you how you can use various layouts for daily spreads, right? So a lot of us like different forms of booklets in our TNs. And I don't want you to think that you just have to use one layout. I am very uh, versatile in the layouts that I like to use. So I said, let me kind of show y'all how I would use this layout if I was doing a daily sheet. So that's what we're doing on here. Now, Normally, this spread I use to take notes, journal moments on the go. This is a B6TN, and it is an everyday carry. To kind of give you a general idea of what size it is, if you're a Happy Planner user, this kind of puts you in mind of the mini Happy Planner. So it is one of my favorite sizes in reference to TNs. So what we're doing, again, we're just putting different things down that I need to accomplish today, and then I'll go in and write as needed. So I know my son has a haircut appointment and I'm really not trying to use a whole lot of booklets or different booklets. I kind of want to be able to pull as much as I can, but it really doesn't look like that's going to happen a whole lot with this. And this is one of those booklets I forgot to put the string through. So the pages are just pretty much falling apart and doing all of that dumb stuff which annoys me to no avail but what i will say about this book that i like is it has a lot of script words so if you don't feel like writing you pretty much pull everything out and yeah but right now i'm not finding a lot of stuff that i need so what's going to end up happening is I'm going to probably write a lot of stuff. Now, you can repurpose some of these stickers. So I need something that says work because I'm being real lazy. This says yard work. And you can cut this in half. And then you can 
just toss the whole yard thing. I'm going to also give another disclaimer and let y'all know my hands are ashy as heck. I don't know what. <laughs> I gotta keep laughing. This day was really interesting, the start of it. So yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, well, let me go do this video. And then I hop on here and I forgot to put my lotion on. So yeah. This is what is called real life where I'm not trying to fake the funk for y'all. Y'all are kind of getting stuff that you normally will not see from me. Um, Put these little eyes down because today we overslept like no other. So I did start working a little bit, but I'm going to have to finish working and then I have an appointment. Got to drop some stuff off. And yeah, that's that. So again, I'm going to look through this book one more time and see if there's anything else that I need to add on here. So we have laundry. We have, I got that coffee to get focused. Um, I do need to pay a bill. Yeah, we ain't going to do none of this cooking today. Um, I think I did. Matter of fact, I did. I told him. So he has to get a haircut today. So I told him that he can get some wings today. And so that's pretty much going to help me out. So we will do that. All right. So we got some stickers down. I feel like that's enough where we don't have to do too much. But it tells you a little bit of what we're doing for the day. So I chose these pens right here, which are erasable pens. And I think we're going to start with this little green. And then I'm going to put today we, today we overslept. So what does that mean? That pretty much means he got a late slip when I dropped him off at school. One less thing that we really needed. So, okay, we have laundry film. So what I'm filming right now is the daily sheet spread. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't want to work? All right, so daily. And this is why using an erasable right now is beneficial. So daily sheet video. All right, and so this pen again, this is the Friction Pen by Pilot. All right, so we did the daily sheet video. I needed to submit some documents. So I did that. And I can't remember what time I did that. I know it was around 9-ish. So we're just going to roll with 9.30. All right. So we have work. I'm going to write in green for that. I'm going to put site visits. hours and then I'm going to put orders so this is both jobs combined so that's going to be my investment job and that's going to be my online business I have some orders that I need to fill I also have a call that I have to do this let's write this thing I have a call a journal coaching session this evening so so I have a journal coaching session at 8 30 p 
p.m. So I'll make sure I have that down. And then remember I said my son has a haircut. So we have appointment and that's at 6 p.m. And then remember we also said dinner is going to be hot wings. And thank goodness there is a wing place in the plaza where the barbershop is. So again, we just gonna knock a whole lot of things out. And then he can add a salad or he's gonna have to have somebody vegetable with that. And then after that, I'm gonna put my word of the year or my phrase of the year remain intentional. All right, so we got that in the middle. And this over here could be like a checklist if I want to check off each of those items that I have to do. Or if there's any other additional items. And then down here, we can create a journal moment. And we're going to put daily recap. And so what I'm going to do with this section right here, at the end of the day, I can write some notes or what worked. Not even notes. Pretty much what worked, how my day went. And up here, I can put notes. Make sure that's dry. Boy. And then we're going to put notes right here. And notes can be anything if you had to save a number or... If you saw something that you needed to remember or you called somebody online, I mean online, on the phone and they gave you a reference number, anything like that is what you would keep in your notes section. Your daily recap is pretty much going to say how it went. Today was good. Remember tomorrow I need to do whatever. Well, remember could go right there. But pretty much like a small journal entry without having to fill a whole page up. And then we said today is February 13th. And so then remember checklist, I could go in and write all of this if I wanted to, but I would do something as simple as work. Bills. Appointments. Session. Me time. And remember, you don't have to fill up every single line, right? I think a lot of times people feel like, oh, well, it has all of those lines, so I have to fill it all up. If I don't fill it all up, it means I'm not being productive. That is not the truth. That is just something that you're putting in your mind that you can kind of get rid of. You fill the pages how you need to to make sure that you're going to be productive. The whole goal is productivity. It's cool to have pretty pages. Y'all know I'm here for the pretty. I'm here for the stickers. But I would love to see people succeed over pretty first and add pretty later all right so again we have everything on here that we need and i could if i wanted to to write where's my coffee but i don't have to we don't even have to do all of that and then again so this is meltdown manager don't know what the heck was going on that i missed that whole entire alarm we can't keep doing that then we have the checklist where we'll put work bills appointment session me time and then as that happens i can check it off at the end of the day Whatever little notes I need to write, phone numbers, website, anything that you need to need um, to remember to prompt you for the next day or just 
to have as a reflection moment you put it right there reflection was not the word that i wanted no it wasn't but anything that you need to remember or to jog your memory put it in that note section so guys i enjoyed this remember again today is my no social media day so if you put a comment below i won't see it until tomorrow but i do respond even if I don't respond with words, for the most part, I respond with the heart. If you put something that's a question, I'm going to respond to that. So again, pull those planners out. Use them for productivity. Make sure that your goals are getting accomplished for the year. One small task each day will get you to the spot you want to be at as far as checking those goals off. So until next time.